Okay, let's start the video. And Tuesday, you draw somebody won the jackpot of about 370 million. Imagine that was not one, it would become uh, like around 400 million. And remember, they got to keep one jackpot at least over 100 million or around that range. And they're keeping Powerball. So, if Powerball go, if Mega Man go back to 100 million before New Year's, which I don't think it will, then they will probably have the Mega Powerball one. So, if nobody won the Powerball tonight, it will be big for Wednesday's draw. And let's look at the Mega Man winning system. For last night's show, remember I wrote over the grid, the IDCQ system from uh, from Tuesday to last night, which is the twentieth. And remember, they skipped it a lot of first in uh, first four numbers. That's not good. <clears throat> but they they yes last night they choose to bring it back the first ball. So with that being said, the system created all winning combination with less than. 30 number with less than 25 number with around 20 numbers to 22 numbers out of 70 numbers. Imagine how many, imagine there are 70 numbers in a matrix for Mega Man. 48 numbers was not in that section of the grid, which was the main focal point in last night's Mega Man. That means with 22 numbers, it's less than Tick 5, Fantasy 5, Pick 10, any other games. It was less than, and the jackpot was decent enough to be 20 million, about, but with 22 numbers on a 22 million dollar game, on a, on a 20 million dollar game, that's a lot of money. And you can subscribe to Nick, share, and like my video. <coughs> and use the closed capture button. Remember, nothing is guaranteed, but always trust yourself. <coughs> And email me for any game prediction or request at hyper underscore links at yahoo.com. And if you want to learn my system, please also email me. It goes up to lottery part 14, 15, and 16, which is invincible number. I'm scoring all the way down quick. And I want to get the, the main point of the IDC system for last night's draw. Remember, I did it. I did last night all the winning numbers in one section of the grid. And Tuesday draw. And Saturday's draw will be very, very big. And if you want to, the system to pick for my system, please email me. I'll be glad to help you with the Mega Man Powerball or any other game. And remember, the key point is having the right combination. And with that 22 number being in one section, the, the next thing is the random generator generate all number within that section. And Imagine that all six numbers were generated in that section without being biased, then you're going to have the jackpot. Not only will you have the jackpot, maybe you're going to have every single draw, but you don't want to have the jackpot every single draw because each time someone won, it goes back to 20 minutes. So you want to have it on the right time. That means when the jackpot goes up to 327 minutes, you want to win that jackpot with the ID secret system. You don't want to win it at at 20 minutes every single time because that won't add up to 327 minutes even if you win five times it will be only 100 minutes so you want to win it as when it goes big so you got to prepare it well and it's not about winning more than once it's about winning when the jackpot is high we all know that <coughs> now last night's Mega Man was 320, 23, 35, and 60 and it was sold in New York, Westchester, wow and Westchester County won because that was an easy draw. We know that. Still second price of a mega player. And 3, 20, 23, 35, and 60 would be copied to see where the number stands in the grid. Remember, I did it once. I could probably want to do it again. We'll see about that. And email me for any game prediction or request. Now, you can see where the number stands in last night's uh, Tuesday's draws Mega Man. The uh, 22, 55 was in the grid, but four winning combinations was all in quadrant one. Where 16, you can see the 16 being the Mega Ball repeated last night. 30, 53, 
56. How many digits were being used? 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6. There were 6 different digits being used to create 4 winning combinations. 6 digits being used to create 4 winning combinations. That's a good stand out. And let's remove that and compare it to the uh, last night's Mega Man. And I don't want to take too long in in, uh, in this grid. I want to move it to the ICDCQ system. <coughs> Before we get started. I'm not going to erase the winning number from, uh, from, from the previous draw. I want to keep it at as good as possible. Now, you can see the top is the true six Mega Man number, and the bottom is last night's Mega Man. So, this is last night's. Now, having last night's draw, why is it so important? Because... Because when I said that we focus on certain quadrants, certain quadrants will create less numbers. Playing the whole four quadrant will have more numbers, even though you brought down the matrix down to about two dirt of the matrix, you still have a lot of numbers. And also remember, I, I said, don't play those corners again. You don't want to play those corners thing again, but the the uh, the other scenario is if that is the codisa quadrant then your focus is on the codisa when you fo focus on the codisa then it's a different story then playing those same qu corner again will help so the only other scenario other thing is if that is not within the codisa quadrants or around the codisa then you do not want to play the qu qu corner quadrant again over and again and again because your main focal point is around the cold easter if the if the if the quad if the corner hit last draw around the cold easter then those corner you can look at a corner scan and see where it stands in the breakdown and you want to either want to play again or you don't want to play again it must be use via the breakdown. Without the breakdown, you're only playing random numbers. So that means, that means, remember, the quadrant four was not, was not the ICDCQ. So the, the quadrant three is not important. So that means if that corner hit, Around here, you do not want to play the same corner again. So the other scenario, the, the scenario, the other scenario is the only time when you don't play the same corner again. When you play the same corner again, again is when it's around the cold easter. When it's around the cold easter, you play the same corners again. It will help you hit that jackpot. So that's the only exemption I would create in playing the same corners and. Looks like they were they were same coordinates, but the number created from the same coordinate were the same numbers from last night's draw. You can see, you, you can see all those numbers from Tuesday's draw and Friday's draw were on quadrant one, but all those numbers in quadrant one that was created from the same coordinate weren't the same numbers. You can tell, you can tell fifty three and thirty five had opposite attraction numbers, but understand since I'm using the same Grid, I did not change the breakdown and we know that when I didn't change the breakdown that the 53 wasn't omitted by the law of opposite attraction so for, for those of you who got the breakdown you know that even though that 53 uh, from uh, 35 from 53 was the law of attraction uh, law of opposite attraction number I did not cross it out because I was using the breakdown one more draw that's the only time when I do not change the breakdown when I use from one draw to another. And therefore, that gave me a whole advantage in, and gave my player a whole advantage if they picked the right combination within that quadrant. And O3, let's look at O3 is in quadrant 3. <clears throat> quadrant 1, again, quadrant 1, that 20. 
also in quadrant one. 23, also in quadrant one. 35, oh my God, 35 was also in quadrant one. Uh, from all these numbers, there are about four red numbers, which also gave us a big advantage with four red numbers. Four, having four red numbers is a big advantage. And 60, 60 was in quadrant one also. 16 also in quadrant one. How about that? So the all winning combination with four red numbers was also in quadrant one. And can you believe that? None of the numbers were picked from quadrant two, three, or four, even though there were duplicate numbers from every any other quadrant. All the quadrant number when number was in quadrant one. There's no doubt that this system just break the record in creating less combinations, using less digit to create less combination, uh, winning less winning combi uh, less combination from the grid. Only twenty two numbers was used. About even though there are six digit, you can count. There was still a lot of combination being used. About twenty two number, not and that. You can tell how many megaball are there. 01, 02, 03, 05, 06, 10, 16, 15, 20, 23, 25. About 10 megaball being used out of 26 that were required one. So, as you can see, how powerful the grid is. And this, no. This is all set up correctly. And let's look at I C D C Q from last night's draw. Remember what I said? You focus on the main quadrants, you're gonna hit that jackpot. Remember this draw will be powerful to mega ball. So, uh power ball because it power over hundred million and I'm I'm not be telling you I'll be focusing on one quadrant. I'm not gonna release the IDCQ. I'm not gonna release the ICDCQ system for Powerball, but I'm gonna post a video on the IDCQ system. So meaning the quadrant that is not the ICDCQ. You're gonna have to email me for that for Powerball tonight. Powerball. If I don't make the video in time, and you're gonna see how powerful Powerball is also. And look at the ICDCQ system is not playing a quadrant that's not associated with the code ESA number or the secret code. And that therefore increasing your chance, not not, not only they increase your chance, it will create winning combination even if you don't know how to play the game. And uh, three Three, quadrant one, 20, quadrant one, 23, quadrant one, 35, quadrant one, 60 quadrant 1 and 16 also in quadrant 1 can you believe that can you believe that the winning combination were all in quadrant 1 with the ICDC system and we know that quadrant 3 wasn't used and therefore we create all winning combination now if you like to, uh, <coughs> my video please subscribe donate share and like my video support my channel also email me at hyper underscore links at yahoo.com for any game prediction or request if you want to learn my system it goes up to lottery part 15 and can you believe that tonight's powerball we're going to do it again creating 
less combination and only one quadrant. Focusing on one quadrant. So last night's quadrant one prevailed for two draws. And last night, not only did it prevail last, uh, last draw quadrant one, create all winning combination within that quadrant. And thanks for watching my video.